things going on. Actually, why don't I buy myself a little time and get going with a bit of this? My mission is to discover the language of nature, and I believe nature is intelligent. There is a world so I was trying under to play the last earth week. full of magic and mystery. It holds the consciousness of nature's connection to all living things. Oh. You know, these mushrooms, they can heal you, they can feed you, they can kill you. It's not like a vegetable, and it's not like an animal, but it's somewhere in between. They support life, they convert life. As you're walking, there's about 300 miles of fungi under every footstep that you take, and that's all over the world. The bulk of the organism is growing underground, and it's composed of these long threads called a mycelium. Almost everyone knows about the computer internet. The mycelium shares the same network design. It's amazing what we don't know about mushrooms. They really are a frontier of knowledge. You can filter water. You can create medicinal compounds almost on demand. They have incredible capacity to make things change very quickly. So I am super hopeful. The psychedelic members of the mushroom kingdom are fascinating. I have been a guide for around 350 psilocybin sessions. The most glorious part was that it made me feel more comfortable with living because you're not afraid of dying. We need to have a paradigm shift in our consciousness. What will it take to achieve that? We can heal the planet. We can build the future. And our world is fantastic. Decent, okay, and I'm pleased to say actually that my man Callum jumped in there and actually got somehow tweaked it, and so we are now live on Twitch and YouTube as well. That is very good news. I'm going to celebrate by turning on the pyramid cam and quote Bertolt Brecht I have always needed the spur of contradiction and also the spur of fuck up to sort of keep motoring, keep us going. I'm going to have a little jam here to welcome you all to the week, and I'm going to speed this one up to a little bit more than I normally do. And um, let's just have a quick, quick hello to everyone. So we pop away on the Papatron 9000. Yay! Okay, it's long overdue for me to say hello to everyone on Twitch. There's Sonic. Yes, we are live. I, well, you can tell me in the chat if it's actually working there, please, Sonic. And Rat Boy as well. Johnny Sod. Yeah, we're all here. Flel 10. You to you and Sauna and Olive. Hurrah! Yes. DJ Fearless is in the house. Glowing chickens in the house, space dogs in the house, and um, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that little uh, clip there from um, Fantastic Fungi. I watched that a couple of weeks ago, and it is excellent. It's working now, says Dr. Deej. Cohen Study is there as well. Rodi is here. Pixie Cosmos, yeah, Nathan King, and Caviar Kerouac, and other pirates. Andy Bell, tell us about the vinyl player. Not sure which vinyl player. Uh, you watched it, did you, Tim? Yeah, nice one. Cold Cut Meets the Orb, that was fun. Let us get going with a bit of Jammingtons. And once more. I'm going to pump up the volume a little bit, get myself excited. I can still dub out. I can still dub out. On the Wednesday night. Welcoming, Welcoming all the pirates. What love. love. There we go. Anesta. Tell me how this thing's going. Oh, we've got that sinking feeling, actually. I think it's going to be okay. I'm going to remember now to press record. Now I finally got it. Show's officially underway. Let's roll. Break, break. It's 
swag. Where's the one? Hey there, Richie. Dr. D, Joe, you're on double channels. Nice one. Zubki, welcome. Yep. Okay, Sonic, glad you got your HDMI problem. Lo-fi frequency. Let's, uh, let's crush it for you, lo-fi. M2, mate. Let's re revisit that. He says you can find any pattern you want to any level of precision as long as you're prepared to ignore enough data. And hence, conspiracy theory, my friends. As long as you're prepared to ignore enough data, you'll always find some connections. It's 
Santorini, Greece. Hello there, Konstantinos. Konstantinos Moskates, good to have you here. Benjamin Murphy, so we're rocking. We are doing good here. We are rocking. What happens if we start chopping that into my loop up? It's got quite a quite a heavy swing on it. Let's just do a bit of that. Afro funk. This is jungle funk from Nakengas from around 1976. Watching the sun come up here from Bris Vegas. Chris Whiteman, nice to have you here. Jack Detonator, thank you, Stacey Birdson. Time for shout outs. Cotswold shout outs to you and everyone. From the centre, the Omphalus of the UK. We're here on Wednesday night to take it across the tracks a little bit. Love us a bit of Afro funk. Okay, let us get into a little bit of news, if I've got any. What have I got lined up here? Let's go to our webpage. Where are you? Squid in the house, I'll duck out. Let's get me some uh, some news happening. Alright. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we're going to talk about the, uh, the year's biggest technological breakthrough with my friends. Some very good news arrived in my inbox today, and it's all about iron air batteries. Yep, there's never been actually an energy shortage here on planet Earth. There's only an energy consciousness shortage, an energy storage shortage. And um, iron air batteries are now performing lithium iron, bringing them closer to commercialization. Um, and this is not something that's a new invention that's years away. I think we're actually pretty much there. The breakthrough was a quiet affair, escaping the light. And many media, major media outlets have been keeping it quiet. Actually, they've got some big backers behind them. They're called Form Energy. And uh, they've come up with this iron air battery. The main ingredients are iron and air. It's a kind of reverse rusting process, I'm told. Lithium batteries last 10 to 15 years maximum. We reckon the iron air batteries will last 30 years. Let's, let's celebrate with that a bit more funk. A fully formed battery system will cost less than $20 per kilowatt hour. They last longer, and what is it? 
Yeah, the battery is a rechargeable 150 hour system. Most lithium batteries can only provide battery uh, power for a few hours. So let's hear it for the iron air battery and let's. Uh, nice graphic there. Metallic iron discharge. I see O2 output and input. Yeah, yeah, well, that's not going to harm us. Right. Good. This is a nice site, brandalism.ch. Brandalism, as it sounds, .ch. And they've been putting up, this is actually um, a little while ago. Oh, 20th November 2020. Did I play this before? I downloaded some of them anyway. Uh, maybe I'll try and show them later. Some nice uh, activist art there. Have I got any I can drop in now? Let me have a look. Good old Callum provided some. going to drop one of these in just quickly so you can see there. Maybe we can drop in another one. I can do this, I can do this. One bank, two sides. Yes, HSBC have been rather naughty from time to time. They have indeed. So that's the work of Brandalism. And I guess we'll rock back to... Uh, let me just stick on a bit more music. Let's look for... Um, nothing bird will be allowed. Three mile exclusion zone. Back, I'm here with my happy squids, happy pirates. Yes, a reverse rusting Fred Lazar, that's exactly what I need as well. Let's get the electricity and go and de rust our, ourselves and our minds. Actually, that reminds me of, uh, reminds me of, um, what was this one? I'll come back to that. Uh, yeah, no, let's, let's have a look. Let's have a look. A bit more news, a bit more news. Right. Oh, yes, this was decent. Canada installs first indigenous governor general, highlights reconciliation. And what's this lady's name? Mary Simon, a former journalist, ambassador, and Inuit and community advocates a service that represents in Canada of its head of state. Let's see. The first indigenous person to take on the role created more than 400 years ago to represent the colonial power. So she's representing the Queen, eh? Well, I bet she'll do a better job than the Queen does. And that's also Canada is doing good. Canada to accept 20,000 vulnerable Afghans, such as women leaders, human rights workers. There was something that I read on this which I liked. Okay, well, big up Canada anyway. All right. Oh, yeah, this was a nice one as well, somewhat related. Native American population jumps to larger size in modern history. The number of people identify as Native American and Alaska Native grew by 27.1% over the last decade. Native American population was reduced to fewer than 250,000 people before the 20th century following decades of mass extermination, forced boarding schools and land theft. But years of resistance and legal battles over tribal sovereignty and civil rights have allowed indigenous populations to rebound to their largest size in modern US history. As I say, yes, but. Tribal communities and Native Americans are spread out throughout congressional districts, making it difficult for indigenous people to gain political power by electing Native Americans to Congress and the Republicans are trying to sort of redraw the lines. Anyway, basically, good news. All right, let me load up. I just I'll leave that nice picture. There's nice people on the screen there, so just to enjoy. Whilst I dial up another jamming. I'm going to go for something brand new. Yes, indeed, I am. Right. That's if I turn it off. Do I? That's my side from kind. Okay, there we go. Not bad, not bad. Okay, good. Here with the squids. 
the uh, the Afro funk track was N K E N J A S, and it's called Jungle Funk. And a big tip of the hat to my partner Jonathan Morford, laying loads of excellent Afro funk on me. And uh, yeah, nice one, everyone who tuned in last week for the Mix Master Mor- Mix Master Mor- Special. He's still. Here and he's just departed right about now actually to get his train back. We've been together all week having a fantastic time. He's such a mind of entertainment and information and also working on some top secret new projects but also our mix for Zero Beats, our ambient compilation. Morris has done a fantastic mix. I'm going to tweak a bit and get some cold cut in there and that's going to be coming out soon. Yes, I am using two iPads, uh, Jake Detonator. Yeah, um, this is Jam Pro. This is the iPad version. The free version for your phone is Ninja Jam. You sort of need an iPad for this one, although we are thinking of bringing it to iPhones and even top secret, possibly Android. Yeah, this is a this is a really cool program actually. It is called Algorithm DJ Pro, and uh, well, I've talked about it before, but it is pretty damn fantastic. Now. I've got a new friend called Philippe, and he's been making with a professor of electronic music and general superstar Elisha. Been making me some new sets, and this is the first one. His production name is Yes Chef rather sweetly. That's Philippe, and uh, let's reset that and hear what he has been doing. Not quite sure why sync isn't working, but I'm not going to hit that because. One more time. This one's called Tropical Traplets. <laughs> Terry the Ghost says he just gave Benjamin Zephaniah's basses to proper fright. Uh, is, is that Mike by any chance, Terry the Ghost? Or is it another, another pirate? Because I know Mike was... Uh, Mike Codders was some um, en route to see Benjamin Zephaniah tonight. there Philippe. Hey, I just checked you. Philippe's just appeared just as I started playing his pack. Very good timing there. Mr. Yes Chef. Nice one. And uh, here we roll it down like this. Nice, nice. Nice to have some crisp jam biscuits to butter up and... uh, Spread out and scatter or something like that. Oh crumbs. Pirates in the jungle. Do it right.
nice space there, Philly. Tim lays it in a way. Sorry, Fred lays it. This is, is he said, is it like your first game you should with an album? Well, we play with it, so it's a bit like a game. We call it jam. But our aim here is to create the world's most advanced beat instrument and ideally give it away to all and sundry.
lights up. they've uh, sorted those robots out with a little bit more of intelligence. Um, <laughs> it's pretty scary, isn't it, Ernesto? Yes, yikes. Nice one, Cohen Study. Yeah, I'm not so sure sar sarcasm is the lowest form of wit. Although I do think that cynicism is the humour of hatred, possibly. Quick move of that. And where can we go from here? Another bit of Vulcan beats. Okay, let's go over there. Nice, nice. Okay, let us put this on. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. Okay, and I wonder if I can say hello to you on here now. Yes. A little bit jerkily. All right. That's not too bad. So, party people, here we are on Pirate TV, Wednesday night. Sorry, it's a bit chaotic. I was a bit rattled by it all um, not working at the beginning, but I think we seem to be back on track now. If over on Twitch, you can give me some signal that it's actually working. That would be good. Um, Vandalised by the Lotus. Nice uh, handle there, mate. Um, so let's have a bit of, what's it called? Balkan Beast, this one, isn't it? That's it. Roll, roll. It's doing that every time, isn't it? Let's go now. Skynet is come for us. Take care, motherfuckers. I don't think their scratching will be too good, uh, Andre, Mr. and Seven. Uh, we, but um, uh, I have actually seen a um, little bit, little bit, little bit of robot scratch. Watch out for that. True ownership is Sherry.
Apex Twins birthday today, is it? Oh, that's, uh, I'll have to twist it out a bit. Evening all rough rah, these bends knees outwards, yeah let's uh, do the funky chicken along here. Glowing chicken's right right here, right on uh, my right hand. Space dog is having a good time too. Be on on the o on the on the oha. This is from Nigeria, 1980s Lagos funk. Fredja Van Ray Smile, good to see you. Thanks everyone tuning in. I've probably noticed I've sort of pretty much caned my um, selection of jam sets over the last uh, few weeks and months. Probably might be getting a bit bored with them, but uh, a bit of ginger. Anyway, now I've got 
Philippe and the Jammers on the case again, hopefully. Gonna get some crisp biscuits, fresh stuff out of soup. Maybe you're right, uh, Stu Face. Just play some tunes. Well, it depends if we then they get busted. So. Scanning music company. Scanning music company. Scanning music continuum rerouted. systems helping to diagnose dementia. 
I might have reported that last week, but I, but I don't remember. If the AI is listening in. Uh, crypto hacker who made the $600 million result heist here. Was, I think he's given most of it back, actually. That was the poly, Polygon or Poly Network. Publicly pleaded with the hacker to help. Fair enough. This was nice. Um, yeah, so the police have been rolling out some lots of CCTV rules and basically the rules let them do exactly what they want. Empowered police and you know, that's what the Home Office said, that they empower police and maintain public trust. As a Lib Dem councillor was won a court case after twice being filmed by South Wales Police Automatic Facial Recognition Van. I thought this was quite good. I take the view that in this country we have policing by consent and the police should be supporting our right to free protest rather than trying to intimidate protesters, he told BBC News after his court victory. So there's a massive new oil field which uh, the UK is intent on opening up even as we sort of seem to be hosting COP, which um, is sort of our last chance to get on to uh, a more sensible energy policy and stop climate chaos. But this minister says the Cambo oil field is no climate risk because the oil could sit in barrels rather than be burned for fuel. Well if it's just going to sit in barrels, what is even the point of having it at all mate? The extraction of fossil fuels from the Cambo field off Shetland has proven controversial with green groups and opposition politi politicians arguing the plans should be scrapped. It will yield 255 million barrels. Of course, it won't be burned because it will just stay in the barrels. Yeah, right. Uh, this is quite funny. From the Daily Squat. And um, what was the funny line here? It's difficult to fully motivate your workers when they can breathe for free. We can be providing workers with a bottle of ammo zone every time they hit a target. It's an amazing piece of corporate synergy for Amazon to buy the Amazon. <laughs> well, it's somewhat funny, anyway. So, uh, that's the news for this week. I prefer, I think my favourite one was the piece about um, the iron air battery let's hope that that is not just sci-fi but is a reality the iron air battery let's hope it is a reality let's go and press yeah Right, this is uh, by Lee J. Malcolm, who's a founding member of Vessels. This one's called Ginger by Amier. If Biz Mistress wants to make her way to Space Lab, she'd be welcome. Give us a hand with some visuals. Seems all to be working vaguely now. I can even have a bit of Tunnel me out, baby. Three, four, eight. Sounds a bit like John Hopkins. That's a good observation there, Studio Dice. It does, doesn't it? I heard a live set from um, the at uh, Together Festival a few years ago. Like, really wicked. Modular, even more like John Hopkins. Hmm. Nice 
one, Georgina, if you're having a dance there, dance around the room, get up people. I would too, but then I'd be off the screen. Or you can dance sitting down. Bonobo is also a reference, isn't it? Yeah. Join me. Good news. Yep, that works. Okay.
Sonic. This is a, a jam set made by Lee from Vessels under the name, oh, not close, edit, under the name Ginger, Lee J. Malcolm. The track's called Amya. I believe this is a 12 you can buy. Rothfrau's been watching, oh yeah, Brian, Professor Brian Cox and the Planets, part five of five. Okay, need to check that one out. I like Professor Cox. Spass it out. Level. 
is Demdike Stare and Wonderland. Pirate TV. Cross the tracks Wednesday night. Cross the tracks Wednesday night. No, no, no. We know who we are. Dexter. This is called Animal Style. Oh yeah, the first one was called Full Edge.
some left foot. Take our seat. Sweet Mason. Yeah. Come in with another verse. 
Hey, Martin Price in Bahia. Hey, Martin Noel, the work is... Brazilian Pirates in the house. This is a bit of um, a Morris recommendation. Just play this to us last night. I thought you pirates might like that. What does that mean? It doesn't really mean anything. I know what it means. Uh, I want to sue this guy. <laughs> <laughs> the wind welcome. whispered through the forest. Oh, okay. Swede yeah, Swede, Swede Mason. I think we've got to... We've got to um, plug for that one and I think we'll have another Morris special now because you know what I mean like because of it's not working too well on the jam and the sing thing so I'm just going to have to improvise and play something else because we thought this was quite fucking funny yeah we did yeah like it's like a storm is coming you cannot defeat the storm from the trees rose a resounding voice I fear nothing I come when the trumpet sounds, I am the Storm, the great American Grizzly. Introducing the original Trumpy Bear, the fearless, super plush American Grizzly. Trumpy Bear was born June 14th, Flag Day. Just find the secret zipper and pull out the flag blanket. Then wrap yourself in the red, white, and blue for comfort and warmth. Show your patriotism and proudly display Trumpy on Flag Day and on any American holiday. Trumpy can even honor your own family heroes. God bless America and God bless Trumpy Bear. Trumpy Bear sits proudly at the front of the motorcycle for all the world to see and loves to cruise with his brother. I'm a former Marine and I'm proud to have Trumpy Bear ride by my side. Once a Marine, always a Marine. Everyone knows Trumpy Bear loves to go to the golf course. When I ride with Trumpy Bear, he makes my golf game great again. Thank you, Trumpy Bear. Simply style his trademark hair and place him in his favorite chair. Even the toughest guys will love Trumpy Bear. When America is great, business is great. When business is great, I am great. I love you, Trumpy Bear. I am an Army veteran. I am proud to own the Trumpy Bear, and I will always be proud to be an American. Order the Super Plus Trumpy Bear for only two payments of 1995 and receive a special certificate of authenticity. Don't miss out on owning a piece of American history. Order now for only two payments of 1995. Trumpy, the most fearless bear anywhere. Order now. We're actually trying to um, find out how many it sold. I think the answer is... Satire is officially dead. <laughs> Satire is officially dead, as they say, yes. The, um, I think, the answer is it, it sold, probably sold quite a lot. Meanwhile, back on jam. beats and mixing. Let's do it. One second. Where am I? Where am I?
beat junkies out there, let's hold tight.
Dan Sankey's act New Dream. This is Eternal Groove. Slurping out of Moody Draw, taking us back to like 1990. And the second DJ Food album, The Birth of a Ninja Tune. Enjoying the visuals. The cockpit brass video clip. Yeah. Um, well, you'd have to ask Josh. Where is the faithful Josh, actually? I haven't seen him today. Hope you are doing all right, mate, wherever you are. Yes, the crazy drum brakes purloined from the Thomas, glad you're with us. 
Dagny says a bright spot in an otherwise very smoky Northern California afternoon. Well, I hope you're not feeling the heat too much there, Dagny. Hang in there. Hey there, Luciana. Brain to brain communication. Ah, Istanbul in the house. Hey. And Clacton have joined us as well, Ben Keeley. Josh, alias uh, Nikolai Luciana, who's uh, put a lot of these video clips together, which we've been living off for the last few months. So, beam in. So, say hello. The new Bug album, I've heard some of it, Rodai, and I think it is fire. Good old Kevin, still uh, knows how to shred some heads. and he has a good effect on my productivity. That's right, Studio Dice. I was pining away without her, gradually drying up. See, even just saying that pumps, pumps up the volume and the excitement. Let's filter that. Bug album is out now, I believe, Luciana. Yeah, it released any day now, says Rodai. So. Good old Rodai knows more about the label than I do myself. Shame, shame. Love from the Cosmos 6, Pizzy. it says Pixie Cosmos. And um, yeah, sorry if I've missed out saying hello to anyone. It's been a bit of a crazy super Sarah Andrews. Welcome to our space. She's a dab hand with the icons there. I'm trying to translate those new age hieroglyphics. Hey there, Theo. Hey, Theo, hope you're going to be able to join us around the 24th for um, another um, end of the session, get some new licks in get your musicality and bring it to the pirates. I'm aware I haven't been actually doing much in the way of competitions or other other stuff for a while. That's why Stinny was away and hopefully building back up to full power. Lab, good to have you with us. At Monroe's in the house, liking the beats. Vandalized by the Lotus as a warning spontaneous dancing may occur. Well, we hope we might. We shake a leg as well. Wednesday night, worldwide. And eventually, it took a little while, but we did managed to connect on all our channels. Shout out to anyone watching on YouTube. Sorry I'm not responding to the chat there, but uh, too many channels.
the sound of Darren Sankey and his outfit New Dream and that's called Eternal Groove. We're going to have just one more jam. One more jam, 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 more
push it up a bit. the show on the favourite Mixmaster Morris. This is Sarah, God Made Dirt. Sarah from LA, pre-figuring the fly low swing. Nice one babe, that matches my shirt. Okay, I take the opportunity to say thank you very much to everyone tuning in on a Wednesday night. Snidgick Smith, I'm not, yes, a new section we've sort of uh, scattered through the program. Nadia Martelli, thank you. Thanks for tuning in. Andrew Trott and Michael Klassen, faithful pirate. Ontario is once again in the house. Say hi to Drone Swarm. I missed that one, but yes, Drone Swarm. Let's say Drone Swarm. Or something. Drone Swarm. Drone Swarm. Drone Swarm. Yeah, big up Drone Swarm. Yes, we want to make it here. Pirate TV. Shout out to Drone Swarm. Swarm. Swarm it up. Swarm it up. Drone. Yeah, what's that? Uh, uh, Olive, got to say big thanks for your space dog emojis. And actually, I've sent them over to Callum, and I think yeah, we were in contact. And I'm not sure if he's managed to wire them up yet, but I think they'll be on next week. One love to you, Studio Dice, thank you. Sinam as well, nice bits of octopus or something you're sending us there. Sweet. We'll keep pumping out some good tunes. Actually, Morris turned me on some excellent stuff which I might be able to feature uh, in the forthcoming shows. Uh, we're not miffed by the hieroglyphs, Pixie. We love it. Love it. Yay, morning glitch, glitch from New South Wales Hills. Okay. I think I got through all the news. Say a big uh, thank you to Viz Mistress. So if I if I turn this on, baby. Yes. Nod our heads to this. Come here a little bit. Can't 
kiss each other because our microphones all clash. See, let's try. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> uh, that was Sarah and God Made Dirt and we are Pirate TV and we are the pirates and you are the pirates and we will catch you on the other side sometime soon. Have a wonderful week worldwide. Look after yourself. Take care. Look after each other. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. We're going to stop it on like a, I say, you have to do it. It's a one, two, 